Hi, this is Michelle, and this is a video to show you how to sign up for an account with Turnitin. So what we're going to do is, first thing, we're going to go to Turnitin.com, and that's just www.turnitin.com, and we're going to click this new user link. Don't get thrown off because it says new instructors start here you're going to actually have to scroll down until you see new students start here and it tells you that you need a class ID number and a class enrollment password and we have that and we'll get that in a minute so we're going to click create a new a user profile now under this user profile of course if you've ever used Turnitin you won't have to create an account you can just log in but if you need to create a new account and you're a student, you're going to click student under create a new account. Student. And then now is where we need the class ID. I'm going to go back to a class and I'm just picking EDU 570N because I'm going to show you if you have forgotten how to get your enrollment ID, your class ID, and your password. If you click the course content tab and come all the way down to the bottom and click documents from the instructor and then click turn it in instructions and once more click, well no, I'm sorry, click turn it in enrollment codes and you will actually find the class ID and the password in here. I'm going to double click on that number and notice it highlights the whole thing and I'm going to hold down control and hit C to copy or you could do this by hitting edit and then copy. I'm just making sure I get the number exactly right. I'm going to go back into turn it in and I'm going to click inside where it says class ID and I'm going to hit edit and paste and it's going to put that number inside there. Then I also need the enrollment password, so I go back to the classroom and get the password. I could just remember that password or I can do it the same way. Double click that word to highlight it, click edit and copy, and then go back to turn it in, click inside the box, and click edit and paste. So there's our class ID and the class enrollment password. Now we need to put in the user information and you put your first name and I'm going to put mine, put your last name. And you need to put your email address. I'm going to just make up an email address because I'm not sure whether it lets you have two accounts and I would already have one here. So I'm just going to make up an email address. says to enter a password notice that the password is case sensitive so if you use uppercase you're going to always have to use uppercase um, it has to be six to twelve characters long and it has to have at least one letter and at least one number so I'm going to type in a password and you have to type it again to confirm I'm going to come on down and I'm going to pick a secret question I'm going to pick this one and I have no idea what my library card number is or was but I'm just going to say one two three four Next, you're going to need to read the user agreement, scroll through and read it, and you have to agree with everything that's there. If you don't agree, you can't create a profile anyway. You have to agree with everything that's there and click Create Profile. And this is as I thought um, the email address already exists. Um, oh, I can use a different one. I know what I can do. just try clicking one more time here and this time I have um, just enrolled in that class EDU 570N that started on July the 2nd and we're ready to submit a paper it says that we can log in to turn it in by clicking log in right here if you had already had an account then you would just log in and you would click and enroll in a class and here it's going to ask you for that class ID and enrollment password and you would put the ID and password in here and it would just put you in a new class but we're already enrolled in this class now